September 1939, Poland has been invaded by Germany. It only takes a matter of four weeks for Poland to surrender to the Nazi soldiers and their regime. World War II has begun. That same year in October, the Judenrat, or Jewish Council, was created. Adam Czerniakow was, nomin- was nominated as chairman. That next month in November, the Warsaw Ghetto was established, and the Jews were forced to wear identifying symbols, such as the Star of David, on their clothes, and in order for them to be identified by the public and the Nazis, that they were Jewish. That next year, in 1940, the ghetto was sealed off to the Polish population. In June of 1942, the the deportation to Treblinka began, sending thousands of Jews, including famed children's writer and advocate Janusz Korsak, to their deaths via cattle car and train. It was during this time that the Jewish Fighting Organization, or ZLB, led by Mordecai Anielewicz, was prepared to fight. Fed up by the treatment and deportation imposed by the Nazis, Mordecai and others went went first to Adam Czerniakow, when this did not work, they found news, and they found news of a suicide. Mordecai and his band of Jewish fighters decided that now was time to fight to defend themselves. In January of 1943, 43, the group put their plans into action, fighting off the Nazis defending the ghetto. They were able to negate the next day of deportations. This event marks the beginning of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. The story, however, has a sad end. Despite their gallant, and heroic efforts to save themselves and their fellow Jews within the ghetto, General Jürgen Schrupp declared that the ghetto be liquidated. This act killed many of the Jewish fighting organization, including Mordecai himself, when German Nazis pumped gas into the bunker they had been hiding in. Mordecai and his comrades defended the ghetto for 912 days. This was longer than the entire country of Poland as a whole resisted the Nazi invasion of 1939. Though Mordecai and the other leaders were killed, it killed in the ghetto, Those who escaped the bunkers continued their fight for many years after.